Hello, I am Spooky Steve. So Steve, when did you first want to become a ghost hunter? It's a hard story to tell. When I was young, if you can believe it, I had a hamster named Nibbles. Nibbles died, you see. And because I was young and naive, I thought he had moved on to a better world. At night, I began to see Nibbles around my room, nibbling. I could hear him every night. Nibbles had not left me. That's when I began to believe in ghosts. When did you see your first human ghost? When I was a young lad of 17, I was travelling the dangerous dark streets of Oxford. I found a disembodied head. It belonged to undead Fred. He is now my guiding spirit, and he is here with me now, in this room. How did you get your big TV break? I had the voice. I had the voices of all spirits behind me. I had to share these lost messages with loved ones and with the intrigued. So I thought the best way I can do this is on channel 811 Boohoo TV 8 till 9 Wednesdays to Fridays. That is how I share my message. Tell us about the best ghosts you've seen in the nine series so far of Hunting Ghosts. The ties that keep spirits attached to this world are truly extraordinary. From a man who once haunted a Cornish pasty factory, from a man who still haunted the bagpipes that he loved so dearly, a man who would haunt snowmen just to eat the carrots. I once knew a man in Timbuktu who haunted a kazoo. Tell us about the scariest ghost you've ever seen. There is one. In the later season, I encountered Walter Anion. In life, he had been but a simple postman of Thistlewick Island, but in death, so much more. I had many encounters with this man, this spirit, and each time I was left with a cold touch of terror in my heart, a personal grudge he has against me, which you can find out about on Hunting Ghosts with Spooky Steve, Season 10. Coming soon.